What's up guys, Chris Killian here. It's been almost 50 years since Leatherface tore through the Lone Star State in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The film was marketed as being based on true events, which is 99.7% false, but it's still regarded as one of the most influential horror films of all time, and here are a few behind the scene facts you might not know. John Larroquette, who you might know better as Dan from Night Court, does the opening narration for this and the 2003 remake. He's long claimed the payment for his services rendered was a single joint. How did the killers? The killers, they're here! In the documentary The Shocking Truth, director Toby Hooper claims Leatherface is just a big baby who kills in self-defense because he feels threatened. Despite its reputation, this film is far less graphic than most people think, and in fact, director Toby Hooper intended to make the movie for a PG rating by keeping most of the horror implied off screen rather than show it in great detail on screen. However, this plan had actually backfired and the first cut of the film earned an X rating. Marilyn Burns, whose character was chased by Leatherface through the undergrowth, actually cut herself on the branches quite badly, so a lot of the blood on her body and clothes is real. The soundtrack contains almost no sounds from musical instruments, and instead they use sounds an animal would hear inside a slaughterhouse, which, that's gross. Due to the low budget, Gunnar Hansen only had one shirt to wear as Leatherface. The shirt had also been dyed, so it could not be washed. Hansen had to wear it for four straight weeks of filming in the hot Texas summer. By the end of the shoot, no one wanted to stand near Hansen or sit next to him during breaks because his clothing smelled yeah, terrible. Terry McMinn strongly believes that her character Pam escaped from the freezer and made it out alive, as she thinks the character of Pam was a fighter, as she stated in a previous interview. So why didn't we make a reboot with her? Entertainment Weekly magazine voted this the second scariest film ever made, only behind The Exorcist, and that's probably fair. Director Toby Hooper claims to have gotten the idea for the film while standing in the hardware section of a crowded store while Christmas shopping. While thinking of a way to get through the crowd, he spotted the chainsaws. But that's not horrifying. For funsies, here's a random fact about the 2003 Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake. The guy who plays Leatherface in that one is Andrew Berniarski, who also played Christopher Walken's son Chip Shrek in Batman Returns. You have to go through me. So you guys know any more cool behind the scenes facts about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? If so, drop them in the comments below. If not, mix them up, have some fun, you know, whatever you want. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Killian or Instagram at CK Comedy. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up or share it because it does help a lot and a big giant thank you for watching.